Hey guys, what's up? I Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video and welcome back to another CWO Premier video. Today we're talking about round one of the CWO Premier playoffs. Eight matchups, 16 clans came into it, only eight have left victorious and the next few weeks we'll narrow it down to four, two, and finally the one winner of season two in the CWO Premier League. But for now, let's talk about those eight matchups that have happened, who won, who lost. We have some awesome replays in the background, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9, uh, three-star attacks, and also some information on the top and bottom of your screen uh, that you can look through as we, uh, as we go through these matchups. Let's just get right started, uh, started here, though, with the first matchup, FYSB versus One Hive Genesis. And yes, I was in this war. I was in Genesis. And um, first, I should say, before I get into the details too much, we had to, uh, each clan had one base that was not attacked. So there was a bit of an issue with the uh, matchmaking, and it was a little bit unbalanced. So my base and the person across from me, their number 14, both were not able to be attacked by the other clan. That's why the score is a little bit lower, 80-80. Um, that is the main reason. Um, it actually was a pretty good war by both sides. Not a great war. It was, a, I'd say, a solid war by both sides. Two 10v10 triples on both uh, both clans. So, uh, you know, that's, that's you know good. It's not great, but two 10v10 triples is pretty good. And uh, I was happy to get one of those, although I couldn't uh, come through on my second attack. But it came down to the wire. Very last moments, we were attacking. We had a Town Hall 11 dipping, 98% uh, two star. Had that been a 100% three star, we would have uh, won the war. But a lot of things, um, you know, if it had happened, we would have won. But it's all ifs. And uh, FYSB had their share of like 99% as well. So they easily could have gotten a few extra stars. So could we. Um, but it came down to percentage, 89.3% for us, 894 for them. So it's just one of those things that uh, we can't do much about. But, um, you know, we're happy to at least have been up there competing with the number one team, with the number one clan, uh, in, in the seeding at least. And uh, we wish them the best of luck in the next round. All right, let's talk about some of the other matchups, though, because there were seven others. Um, of course, I was not there doing battle day for them. But I'm able to give some information. Uh, we have... Hanoi Banditos 1 versus We Are Spartans. This was a grueling uh, matchup. 84-83 was the uh, the final score. We Are Spartans from, uh, actually from the Goblin Division, which uh, One Half Genesis is a part of. They got the victory, 84-83, but man, it came down to the wire. And um, both clans actually eight and three going into it. So it was kind of like anyone's matchup. There wasn't really a favorite. I think um, it was the four and five seed from the um, from the gold conference, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I don't have the, the spreadsheet up, but both clans were about even. We've seen Pinoy Banditos be a solid force, um, and as well as we are Spartans. So um, I don't think there was like a whole lot of speculation as to who was going to win. It was known it was going to be a close matchup, as many of these were, and uh, we are Spartans just getting the victory there. So good job to them as they advance into the next round there and go against FYSB. So the next war was Hindustan versus King Jeffrey. A grudge match because they're both in the same division here. Hindustan, as you guys might remember if you watched some of my early uh, recaps from a few weeks ago, the first few weeks of the season, Hindustan came out very, very strong. They looked like possibly one of the best teams, or one of the best clans. They were, I think, the most high scoring, um, at least for a while, them and Dark Looters X. But on um, the last few weeks, King Jeffrey actually stole the division from them, just inching ahead at the very last uh, moment. They uh, Back in week five, Hindustan, um, like I said, early in the season was definitely a force to be dealt with, and they still are a solid clan. Um, but in week five, when they were really hot, they won 86-85 over King Jeffrey, so a high-scoring war back then. Both clans definitely can play um, some clash, but um, King Jeffrey coming off that six-week winning streak just too hot right now. Um, not, you know, an extremely high scoring war, 84, 83, but the pressure's on and, you know, clans are going against better bases because they're facing, um, you know, the top 
the top half of the clans um, now. So the bases are better, and I think that's kind of reflected in some of these scores at least. So 84-83, um, about average scoring, but King Jeffrey gets the victory there, and they will advance to the next round against Grumpy Old Men. Um, Hindustan, it's a, it's a tough season for them because they started off strong. They just couldn't keep the foot on the gas. And I guess every clan basically goes into these playoffs um, about equal. You know, you know, it's a single elimination tournament. I guess the seeding is pretty much all that you're going for. But um, all these clans have the same one loss away from being out. And unfortunately for Hindustan, it's the first round, but a good season to them. Um, they still uh, put up in total uh, some pretty good numbers. Next matchup here, we have Forged from Steel versus Grumpy Old Men. This was an interesting matchup because we have Forged from Steel at 9-2, and two, um, with Grumpy Old Men being 6-5 and five in terms of the win-loss throughout the season. So Forged from Steel, definitely the favorite. They, I believe, were the two seed, and Grumpy Old Men was the seven seed. This is just within the gold conference. In, the, in each conference, there are eight teams in the playoffs, seeded one through eight. So um, the seventh seed, second to last. Um, Genesis was actually the last seed. We slipped in in the eighth seed in the gold conference. So um, for this matchup, definitely a big difference between the two uh, levels they were at, at least during the regular season. But an upset for Grumpy Old Men, getting the victory 85-83 over Forge from Steel. And Grumpy Old Men, I think they started off strong. You know, first few weeks they were good. And I think they're a little bit hot and cold, but they're streaky. And they can pull off some good victories, which can really be helpful um, in the playoffs, especially if you're the underdog. Um, Forge from Steel had a, had a good, um, solid season, but they never exploded too much. And I think the... Uh, some wars were kind of pedestrian for them. They got some, uh, you know, easy matchups. Not to take anything away from their uh, season, but Grumpy Old Men here comes up on top, 85-83. Uh, good job to them. They will face, like I said, King Jeffrey in the next round. And we have Marshall's Nation versus CZX Knights. This war was a close one, as pretty much all of these ones were. 83-82, it goes to Marshall's Nation. And that's kind of been the story of their season, to be honest. A great clan, you know, 9-2 and two throughout the season. That's nothing to uh, to squawk at. That's a very good record, being 9-2. and two, And I believe being the, the second seed, I want to say, from the uh, Elixir Conference. But all their wars were just kind of scratching it out. Um, they have a great star differential. They're, they average throughout the season 2.5 stars plus, meaning... On an average war, they won by two and a half stars, which is a huge margin. I think one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in the uh, Premier League. But they're not putting up extremely high stars for. It's the stars against, 80.8. I don't know if it's the bases. I know Genesis wore them way back um, around the beginning of the season. And I can't quite remember uh, how good their bases were. It's just been too many weeks. But I believe they, you know, they have to have something going for them because it's too much of a coincidence that all these clans are not putting up um, very good stars against them. Uh, the X-Knights, 82, not a bad score at all, um, but Marshall's Nation seems to always get one extra star than the clan they face to get the victory, and it works out here as they advance into round two of the playoffs. Next matchup here, Dark Looters X versus Emphatic Fury. DLX um, started off very strong this season, and then had like a little bit of a dip around week five or six, but came back and finished very strong. Emphatic Fury had a slow start, but they came back with a, a fury, I guess that's all I can really say. And um, they turned it around for sure. I believe they got up to like seven and four, um, giving WHF2 a run for their money at the top of the, the uh, I want to say the minor division is what they're in. But um, they had a great second half of the season. Things were looking up for them. I was th saying, I think in the last projections video for this week, that Emphatic Fury being on that upward trend, putting up very good numbers the last few weeks, ending the regular season, might have a good shot against DLX. But I think the, um, the experience, the leadership that is in the Dark Looters uh, clan family, having one clan that uh, Dark Looters, the actual um, main, I guess, clan, if you can call it that, um, having won the invite last season. I think they just have the administration, they have the um, confidence, and it's going to get them far in the playoffs. So, uh, great war to both sides, but DLX gets the victory 
and I'm really looking forward to them facing Marshall's Nation uh, in the uh, the next week's matchup because um, it was a very interesting war. Marshall's Nation blew out Dark Looters X last uh, time they faced, I think in like week five, when both clans were undefeated, um, and DLX was like the huge favorite. So that'll be a really interesting war. I'm excited to see that. But for now, Dark Looters X has a few days off, or more than a few days, until next weekend uh, when they play in the next round. Next one is WHF2 versus LT. And wow, 83 83. But what else could you expect from WHF2 having finished the season? Um, I, I've said this before, but it's just such an incredible statistic. They finished the season with a record of 8 and 3, having more total stars against than stars for. They're actually averaging negative 0.1 star differential, meaning they have slightly, I think, like one or two more stars total against than total stars for which means that pretty much all their wins have been very, very close, and they've just been, every win just been scraping it off the bottom of the bucket, so to speak. So um, I guess you wouldn't expect any other type of win from them than a, than a, a percentage-based win, but they got a, um, not a huge uh, percentage win, slightly more than the uh, One Hive Genesis FYSB one, uh, I think 0.13%, yeah, 92.9% to 92.77 so uh, percentage wars are always really frustrating uh, especially being the losing clan like all the different ways you could have won the war but um, LT a good season they weren't a dominating force at any point but they were always right there with Marshall's Nation um, in that healer division just kind of keep holding down second place and uh, I was kind of rooting for them because of their cool name but they can't quite uh, get past WHF2, who's just been such a force um, grinding out each win. I'm excited to see the next week against this next clan I'm going to talk about here, and that is Jay Off, who was in the Jay Off Dark Avengers uh, matchup this week. So where do we start with this one? I guess with those three 11 v 11 triples for Jay Off, um, incredible that they got that. Um, getting them a total of 89 stars, previously 87 was the record. A few clans got that at various points during the season. Uh, 80, 87 stars, well let me say this, 90 stars is a perfect war. So they were one away from a perfect war. Typically we see 86 star wars, which means all the 9s and 10s tripled in all four of the Town Hall 11s that are in, in these standard wars being two starred. Um, so Dark Avengers did get that. They got all the 9s and 10s cleared. They two-starred all the Town Hall 11s. So they had a very clean war, and 86 stars will get you the victory almost every time, except in this circumstance. Actually, if Dark Avengers had faced any of the other, I guess, uh, 14 clans other than Jay Off, they would have won because 86 was the second most stars um, a clan got this week. But Jay Off, 89 stars, and um, good job to them. Had uh, some nice Town Hall 11 triples. I think one of them you saw in this video. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to face WHF2. Whether WHF2 can live up to that uh, that close grinding it out victory type uh, style they've been they've been playing with the last few weeks. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a shootout. Maybe it'll just be a grinded uh, war at like 81, 82 stars fighting for that last um, two star or whatever on a Town Hall 10. All, all kinds of wars can happen, and um, I'm excited for all these matchups. I will actually go ahead and throw all the matchups uh, for next week on the screen right now. Um, hopefully, I'll get to a video for like a projections type video. But in case I don't, I'm going to go ahead and put them up here. Um, going to be some interesting matchups, but I'm really looking forward to, especially to the uh, Dark Leaders X, Marshall's Nation War. Um, those clans went against each other way back in week five. And I think they're two very different clans, and it should be interesting to see how they clash, uh, no pun intended, uh, in this next matchup. But we're getting down to it, eight clans, and pretty soon it will be four. So uh, I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys uh, very soon in the next CWL video. Also, one uh, quick thing I want to say, everyone in One Hive Genesis, um, shout out to everyone who's uh, put in some awesome time uh, this last season um, in CWL Premiere great members and I encourage you guys to apply to join if you're interested, if you're looking for a clan and uh, for those of you who are already in Genesis and are watching this video, 
great job, heads up, it was a great week for us. Um, came down to the wire, just couldn't quite get it, but it happens, and yeah. Okay, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bisectatron out.